Yo, what's good everyone? Wesley Paul here back with another one and today is going to be a video looking at using submixes and using your return channel in NPC Beats slash NPC software. Now once again this is going to be mostly aimed towards beginners and new users of the software so if you are more experienced this one may not be for you but feel free to stick around if you want to. Yeah, so let's have a look. I've got this track going right. Um, I'm going to play these two sounds for you. This is one sound and I've layered it with this one. Okay. So what I'm going to do is where I've got output here, I'm going to click there, go to submix. I'm going to put that into submix one and I'm going to do the same on this one. Click where it says output, go to submix, go to submix one. Okay, and these are my submixes here. And this is submix one. And if you can't see your submixes, press press here. So I'm in my mixer um, view at the moment. Yeah, channel mixer. And then make sure that's turned on. So you, you're, not, you're not hiding your submixes. And so what I've just done there is I've changed the output. So instead of the output going to the master channel, I've done it. So this one and this one goes to submix one now i've got these two in submix one i'll show you what it does on submix one if i want to turn it down they've both now turned down they both turn up yeah also i've put an insert i've put an effect on this submix it's just a filter gate so when i play this now this filter affects both of them because they're both going through that submix yeah and essentially that's what a submix does so where this is really good is you see on this one here i've used all of my four inserts so just say if i really wanted that filter effect on there I've run out of space, so I can't I, I can't put it in. So one of the benefits of using the submix is I've sent it there and now I can put that on there. Yeah. So even if I only wanted this program to go to a um submix and not this one, then that's fine. So like just imagine um yeah, I wanted to put more inserts on there and I've run out here, I could just send that over to submix one and add another four. So if you look at it, so like in MPC Beats, for example, you've got eight MIDI tracks and you get eight submix channels. So each one of your MIDI tracks can get sent to one submix. So if you do ever run out of, of inserts, you can just send it to a submix, you get another four. Okay, so the only thing with that is, so once you put this insert on there, um, it affects whatever's going through on that submix. So I might want this to have a lot of this insert and this to have not so much of it. But if they're both going through this submix, they're both going to be affected equally by what is, whatever's on there, if that makes sense. So... That leads us into the next thing that we're going to look at today, which is our return channels. So if we move this across, we can see return channel. We've got return one, return two, return three and four. Now above your, your channels here, you can see these knobs, one, two, and three and four on all of them. So this, these one, two, and three, or one, two, three, and four correspond with your return channels. So on my return one, I've put a delay effect. Okay. So what I can do now is just say this main sound again. So just say I wanted delay on here as well. So I can put delay on this submix, but then what if I wanted this individual sound to have a lot of delay and then this other sound that's same one that's going through the submix, I don't want it to have as much. I might want it to have a little bit of delay. Yeah, so that's where I would use my return channel. So I'm going to play this again for you and I'm going to turn up number one and you can hear what happens as I turn it up. Yeah. 
Yeah. So the more I turn it up, the more delay it got. Okay. And so where this is good is it might not be just these two. I might have, I've got um, other tracks. Here. So I've got my, my drum track, right? Let's play that. Now I might want this to have a little bit of delay. So I can just turn that up. Yeah. So rather than putting a delay on, so I've got four active tracks going here. Yeah. Rather than putting a delay on each of them individually, I can just put one delay on my return and just use these knobs to turn up exactly how much delay I want it to have. And I can put anything I want on these um, returns, like any effects I want. So on my second one, I've got reverb. So again, I might want this to have a lot of reverb and this to have not so much. I just adjust it here with how much I want it to have. So let's play everything together. Yeah, so when you've got it on your return channel, you've got a little bit more control because you, you control it with these knobs here to see exactly how much you want it to have. And essentially, that's it. That's using submixes and returns. That's just my way of explaining it as quick as I can. Hopefully, I explained it well enough. If I haven't, then please let me know. Feedback is always welcome. But I think I'm going to sign this one off here. So thank you for watching. Take care. Peace out. And I'll see you at the next one.